Today, we're going to look at how we can discover and resolve wireless coverage holes using Cisco DNA Center 232's wireless 3D map. Looking at this map, we currently have RSSI as a heat map metric and ISO surface as the heat map type. Majority of the rooms with APs are color coded green, meaning that we have proper RF coverage in the desired areas. However, you'll notice that a room in the top right hand corner has poor coverage on the right side even with an AP deployed. To mitigate this, we have a few options. Since it's a small room, the obvious choice would be to change the AP's positioning. We can click Add Edit, then select the AP to have a side menu appear where you can toggle the AP's coordinates, antenna elevation and azimuth, as well as radio TX power. To move the AP towards the middle of the room, we can increase the x-axis to say 170. Although it's already looking better, the coverage still doesn't reach the corners of the room. In this case, we can try increasing the TX power of the radio higher to say 10. Upon applying, we can observe gray RSSI throughout the entire room. Wireless 3D Maps also provides the ability to add planned APs to the map, which are APs that don't actually exist within your Cisco DNA Center inventory, but are used as a simulation to what you're considering to deploy in real life for better coverage. Let's look at this high ceiling deployment as an example. This warehouse is 42 feet tall, with high attenuation shelving throughout the building, and APs with external patch antennas on each side propagating RF towards the center. Looking carefully, we'll notice one of the rows doesn't have proper coverage. We can toggle back into the 2D map, click Add Edit, then add a planned access point, a 9130 external antenna skew, then equip it with an antenna of your choice. In this case, I'm going to use Cisco's new 9104 stadium antenna and hit save. Back to the 3D map, you'll notice the RF of the AP still isn't properly covering the entire row. And this is because we haven't configured the direction the antenna is pointed in. Going into edit mode again, we can edit the azimuth and elevation and put it as for example, 250 and negative 30, then hit apply. You'll notice the RF propagation changes to the antenna angle that we've configured and now provides the row with the proper coverage. This is a 40 plus feet high ceiling deployment. And in such a deployment, the RSSI or connectivity at the ceiling level is not necessarily the same as the floor level. To ensure that the connectivity or RSSI is great throughout all heights, we can leverage the scanner functionality, then hit play to view the RSSI at every level. There are certain areas that have slightly poor RSSI when we get towards the bottom of the floor. We can get a user's perspective to further validate this by leveraging the first person view functionality by dragging and dropping this human icon into the location of the map we want to view. While in this view, you'll notice a mini map at the bottom left hand corner that tells you where you are, then use the WASD keys in combination with dragging and left clicking on your mouse to navigate through the 3D world. You'll also notice depending on the heat map metric selected, it'll show the RSSI, SNR, or interference value at the top from a user's perspective when you walk around. Navigating to the area that has poor RSSI at the bottom of the floor, you get a clear view of the exact RSSI value in such areas from a user's perspective. At this point, to enhance the wireless coverage, a network administrator can use the tactics we've gone over earlier such as moving the AP, changing the TX power, antenna angle, or adding an entirely new planned AP, validating its coverage in wireless 3D maps, then implementing it in real life when a reasonable solution is found. As you can see, wireless 3D maps provides network administrators with a powerful tool to monitor, assess, and debug the wireless coverage of your network, not possible with a 2D view. With that said, this covers how you can discover and resolve wireless coverage holes using the wireless 3D map. In the next episode, we'll explore the Visual Insights feature and how it'll save network administrators time when it comes to discovering wireless coverage that doesn't meet your configured SLA. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, subscribe, click the notification bell, and as always, thank you for watching.